Hey guys, welcome to another video of Marvel Contest of Champions. This is video number 5 in my 9 part series of Act 5.3 completion with least amount of units. And today we are running through cornered and power reserve part of 5.3.6 with Green Goblin as boss. So make sure you check out the timestamps in the description so you can jump ahead to any of the fights you'd like. And it's gonna be a long video, 22 minutes, so please check out the timestamps. As always guys, if this if you find this helpful and you like what you see, kindly go ahead and like it, leave a comment down below, let me know what you did for this path and also subscribe guys, that really helps me out a lot. And also check my channel, I have a lot of videos on Act 5.4 and now at 5.3 as well. So the team I've taken is Luke Cage, uh, World War 2 and Quake. These are the size champs, their damage is not reduced, so they will be the main ones I'll be using. And I just took someone that could build up a combo and make more damage, that is Star-Lord and Rocket Raccoon. So Star-Lord and Rocket Raccoon are just there to... until they die. I just want to save my science champs till the end. One final thing guys, I'm just using 550 champs just for the sake of the video to create a guide for people who don't have deep rosters. If you have 455 champions, go ahead and use them. Especially if you have like Luke Cage, he is amazing for this path. If you have a Quake, she's also amazing for this path. So yeah, don't be shy to use your 5-star champions. So first up is Red Hulk. You could take any science champ against him, but the problem is when he uses a lot of his L1s, his heat charges go up. And even if you're blocking, you will take a lot of damage. So I like going with Star Lord because I've played against Red Hulk a lot in Labyrinth of Legends so I traded as the same fight. I was really unlucky here because I got Power Drain on 3 straight L L2s like 3 consecutive L2s so otherwise you can just always just go in bait his L1 and you can go back hitting him and he's a really straightforward and easy fight. Next up is Psylocke, um, also a simple fight, really easy to bait L1 and L2. I just went to Rocket Raccoon because, again, I need to save my science champs. So you could just spam L2 with Rocket, this L2 deals a lot of damage and because of power reserve you're able to spam it like every time. So other than that, there's no other tip that you need to look for this fight, it's a pretty easy one.
Next up is OG Vision. You just need to be careful about his SIG ability that is synthesis so you don't push him to L3. Uh, Luke Cage works really well against him because for every charge of exhaustion Luke Cage with his light hits he inflicts on the opponent the potency of the power gain reduces by 25% for 10 seconds. So if you have like 4 charges he will barely get any power to him. So as you can see in the fight, I'm just keeping him to his L1, baiting it out and building my meter to level 3. Level 3 inflicts 4 exhaustion charges and then that means that your opponent will not gain any power at all. You will see I'll do the same against Hyperion as well with Luke Cage. So the new Luke Cage, I really love him. I use him in map 6 all the time against uh, Hyperions and also the Keltrops path. So yeah, he's amazing. Okay, next up is Cable. You notice that I lost already my Star Lodge, that's why his 20% health is down. I did not include that fight because I have to keep the video short. So, next in I went with Quake. Quake is a pretty simple fight against him, just be in the corner, charge your heavy, just keep a lookout for your parries and he will die really fast. I do miss like one or two parries, I take a lot of damage from Cable but that's part of playing with Quake. The more you play with Quake, the more practice you get and she's just amazing. This way you don't give Cable any power so you cannot spam his L1 or L2 and it becomes a pretty simple fight without the, all the extra power to Cable. Next up is Hawkeye. Uh, it's a pretty simple fight. All of us are very used to his animations. The only thing you need to care about is you don't miss one of his... Like you don't get hit by one of his arrow because his bleed will just kill you instantly. And uh, I just went with Rocket Raccoon because I thought, you know what, this is an easier fight. I'll just kill him off with Rocket Raccoon. It will be a longer fight, but that will help me save my size champs for, the later, for later in the path. So, yeah. Just spam your L2, keep your combos up so the crits for Rocket Raccoon can go up. And that's it.
so I lost my Captain America World War 2 and brought him down to 60% so I was really annoyed that I lost Captain America World War 2 because I use him usually against uh, Iceman because he's really good against him he does not take any damage and his block block proficiency is amazing but then again I lost him so I went back with Quake with Quake it's really easy to fight with Vulture just make sure that you parry properly it's easier to parry because Vulture's animation is slow you just need to care about the miss hits and yeah then it's just a simple fight This is like my favorite fight of the path, it's against Hyperion and Luke Cage is like just amazing. So what you need to do is just make sure you bait out his L1s and L2s and don't get hit. Keep your invulnerability for his L3 and so when he does drop an L3 you are invulnerable and you can rinse and repeat that. Every 30 seconds you can have your invulnerability back and secondly the best part about Luke Cage is I really want you to keep a close attention on Hyperion's power bar and how many exhaustion charges are there so as the exhaustion charges increases his power gain reduces and he is barely able to get an l3 the whole path even though we are on a power reserved and cornered path uh, on a cornered path so luke Kate is just amazing i just use him against map 6 hyperions as well and also i use him on keltrop's path as well i'm really loving the new buff to luke cage so if you notice that whenever there are four charges of exhaustion, even though he's on a buff of power up, he does not gain power because that is reduced because of the exhaustion charges. So what I usually do, I usually spam L1, oh sorry, I usually spam light hits and I'll go to L3. So he cannot, he gets like always has four charges of exhaustion so he cannot gain power. Or alternatively, you could spam L like L3 into L2 that will convert the exhaustion charges into a concussion and that will stop him from triggering his power at all for 18 seconds So the last opponent with cornered and power reserved on him is Hood. Same, I just went with the Luke Cage with the same concept. So just put your exhaustion charges on him with light attacks and then go into L3. He will not gain power. It's easier to control the power he gains. And also just make sure you always take L1. Don't go to L2 because then, you know, everything goes to on the other side. And then you also have class advantage and you also have the quest advantage. So this should be a pretty fast fight.
So this is probably the most hideous fight of the section because you know you will just get cold snap damage for no reason. I tried to be cute and I went with Rocket Raccoon and he just died very fast. So then I had to go back with Luke Cage. I did heal up Luke Cage. So this is where you know all those uh, potions that you form from ROL Winter Soldier they come in handy. So once you have it in control, it's a uh, pretty simple fight. You just need to make sure that you're careful with the special attacks. Especially his L2, sometimes, you know, it's a pretty straightforward to evade, but sometimes I miss it or I block and I take a lot of damage. Like right there. I couldn't just block it. And yeah, Luke Cage brings him down very easily. So the last fight before the boss is Doc Ock. You need to be careful, he has extra power gain. So just try to make sure that you bait his L1 always. Even if he goes to L2, you can evade it. Just, you know, you have to be careful about the timing on it. Otherwise, it's a, it's a pretty simple fight. You just need to be careful with his power bar. So the best way I feel to uh, bait his L1 is you go in four hits and you go back. You go in 4 hits again and you go back. Use the L1s and L2s, put exhaustion charges on him so he cannot gain power. And yeah, it becomes an easy fight. Okay, last fight is Green Goblin. His PI is very low, it's only 13,000. It's low because he gets a lot of madness charges and he heals a lot. So the smart way would have been that I should go with Quake because Quake Concussion will stop him from healing and also the Quake playstyle will not give him power as well so I don't have to bait that much. But I was just having so much fun playing Luke Cage. I was like, you know, what the heck, let me just go and try it. But if you have a Koeg, that is a much easier, much faster fight. He just comes down in like, like a minute. So yeah, if you have Koeg, go with Koeg. And yeah, it's a very simple fight. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video and you find it useful. It helps you complete your Act 5.3. If you did, guys, like the video, leave a comment down below what approach you took. It's really always good to listen to different approach from different people so keep those comments coming and also guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't it really helps me out a lot and other than that guys uh, have a great day and i'll see you next time